Today we are testing out the Clearstream 5. It is an outdoor UHF VHF antenna made by Antennas Direct. The company is based out of Ellsville, Missouri, and I've been testing out a number of their antennas for years now. Like a lot of you, I love broadcast TV. It's the primary way I watch television alongside my streaming services. Today, I'm going to be showing you the results from our testing. We're doing it on this 18-foot pole. I'll be elevating the antenna. We're doing this today so you can get a very clear idea of what this antenna is capable of when it's properly elevated and positioned. Our goal here is to put it at a height that is similar to a roof install or an attic installation. As you can probably see behind me, I have another excellent antenna mounted on my roof. That's the Clearstream 4 Max. So I have a really great idea of what kind of channels I can get in my area. I know the channels that are easy to get. I know what the fringe areas are. And so that gives us a very good baseline for testing out the Clearstream 5 today. Another thing that we need to talk about is you need to be careful when you're buying a TV antenna. There are less reputable companies out there that will market their antennas as having a 100 mile or even 800 mile range. Antennas simply don't work that way. You have to understand how this industry works. Less reputable manufacturers know that big numbers move products. They know that this kind of advertising goes unchecked in this country and so far they're getting away with it. That's why we're doing tests like this today so you can get a more accurate, hands-on and realistic idea of what a quality antenna can do. One of the reasons why I started Antenna Land was so that the average consumer who knows little to nothing about TV antennas can start utilizing the public airways as they were intended. You can head over to the website and you'll find in-depth reviews on this antenna and many others. You can sign up for the Antenna Land Bootcamp series for free. I charge nothing for it and it will be sent directly to your inbox. Before I raise this antenna up in the sky, I want to say a special thank you to MFJ Enterprises out of Starksville, Mississippi. If you're interested in a pole like this for a temporary setup, maybe you're a ham radio operator, I'll leave a link in the description below. If you're looking for an antenna that could be a good long range antenna for you, you're gonna wanna see these results. So let's get this antenna elevated and then I'll have more to say about how it performs. Okay, I'm going to shift the camera a little bit so you can see that we are at our full elevation. And by the way, if you're wondering, I have this antenna hooked up to an HD home run. It's connected by an ethernet cord. We are now going to go do the channel scan and then we'll talk about the results we're getting. Here we go, 75 channels. This is very comparable to the Clearstream Force performance. I can see that I'm getting many of the major stations out of Boston and I'm picking up 
the NBC station out of the Rhode Island market. I'm very happy with the results that I'm seeing here. Of course, I'm going to be trying a few more channel scans to see if I can get the lineup above 75 channels. I believe my total here is slightly higher than what I'm getting with the four max on my roof. Let's go back up and wrap things up for the day. So just a few more details about the Clearstream 5. It is just under 29 inches wide and it's about 22 inches long and it weighs roughly three and a half pounds. So it's a very lightweight antenna. That's something that you're gonna wanna consider if you're mounting this outdoors. Of course, as always, I recommend that you have an antenna on your roof professionally installed so it can be properly grounded for this temporary install. The weather was very nice, there's no wind, so we did not do that. The gain is 7.6 dBi for the high VHF band and it's 4.9 dBi for UHF. This antenna has a 70 degree reception pattern so that makes it a multi-directional antenna. And I think for a lot of homes like mine that are in a suburban area outside of a big city, a multi-directional antenna is going to work better for you because you may have broadcast towers all around your house instead of one general direction. If you were living in a place where you were far away from towers and a lot of them were to the north of you or the south of you, then I think a directional antenna would be more appropriate for your situation. So that's the setup. I'm going to be doing a few more channel scans before I take this down. If you're interested in finding out what those results are like, I hope you head over to antennaland.com, sign up for our newsletter, join the forums, and remember, there are millions of TV antenna users all over the country. If you're not one yet, it's easy to start. There is a community here to support you, and I really appreciate you watching. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time.